what is up so welcome back to the series in this video we're going to start implementing react query into our website so users can start sending posts over to our back end so first of all let's actually like um implement react query so in order to do that we need to wrap our app in a query client provider is what they call it so let's import query client provider and let's import query client from react query and let's wrap our application in a query client provider all right and the query client provider takes in a prop called client and this is going to be um, an instance of query client if I can spell okay and let's also import the dev tools which we're going to use later in the series so let's import react query dev tools from um, react query slash dev tools and let's stick that um, dev tool component right down here and it takes in a prop called position and we'll set that to equal um, bottom right and it takes in a prop called initial is open we'll set that to false so it's initialized close and over here you'll see it so when you click this uh, flower thing it opens up this menu and right now it's empty but this is gonna um, show us all of our data that we're fetching and stuff and it's gonna help us visualize what's really going on with react query so once we got that set up we can close this component and we're gonna want to um, go in here in the postmodal component and over here is where we're going to send the post to the API. In, or, in order to do that, we're going to use the um, React Query use mutation hook. Use mutation. So it takes in a, a function which returns a promise. And then um, it handles everything for us. Like it handles doing the actual, fulfilling the actual promise. And, and it tells us, is it loading? Does it have an error? Was it successful? It does all these things for us and you're going to see just how easy it is to use this library i love this library so let's create a custom hook called use send post jsx and we're going to want to import use mutation from react query and let's make our component our hook And it's just going to instantly return something. And let's make this the default export of this file. So it's going to return the use, use mutation hook. And so this hook takes in two arguments. Number one, it takes in an asynchronous function, as we see here. So this is a function that returns a promise. So we're just going to, um, it's going to automatically return if we uh, do an error function like this. And we're going to want to return a fetch request. And we're going to want to access the process environment variables, one that's called react app server URL which if you remember, we created in all the other episodes. And we're gonna wanna um, send a request over to slash new post on our server. And this fetch request takes in an options variable, which we're gonna use to specify the body. And so this function takes in that data, whatever we give to it, and we're gonna use it to send over the post. So we have access to this data from this hook in um, this function in our callback so in the body we're going to want to send over a json stringified post the method let's specify that it's going to be a post method post request the credentials we want to include our cookies include our credentials and the headers 
we want to specify the content type to be application slash json and that's it so we we're returning this fetch request that has um all these options and the url right so like i told you use mutation takes in two arguments the first one is the callback and the second one is an object which holds all the options or would you say configurations of this um, use mutation hook and it gives us access to some really useful callbacks like um, let's look for it down here so one like on success so basically on success and um, the value is a function that, that that gets called whenever our mutation is successful whenever this promise is successfully completed it'll call the on success and we're gonna do this we're gonna um, fill up this function later on in the series probably next episode and we'll get to that later because basically uh, whenever we send a post we want to um, send a new request over to the server saying um, to refresh our page with all the new po new posts including ours so we're not doing this doing that this episode so we're gonna keep this empty for now so we just finished our hook so let's go over to the post modal component and let's import our custom hook so we're going to want to import use some post from hooks use some post and we're going to want to uh, destructure the mutate mutate function mutate variable gives us um, equals use send post so in our, our custom hook is literally just returning the use mutation hook with all the settings applied to it and the use mutation hook see if i can find an example it returns an object here they called it mutation and that object has many properties like a dot error right and it has um, a dot mutate function so whenever we want to do this callback we just call dot mutate with the parameter. The parameter is this. So the parameter we put into the mutate function is this. So we would be putting the post as a parameter. So let's do that. And let's actually uh, rename this to send post. And we just go here and call send post with an object with our, uh, an object and The object is going to have um, a post value set to post text. And this is going to be included into our body. So we're done with the client side. We're sending over the posts in a post request to slash new post. Now let's create that route in our application. But first of all, we're going to want to configure our Express app to be able to, to accept JSON as uh, data. So let's use a middleware. So do app.use express dot json. So this is going to parse json data for us so we can access it in our body and stuff like that. So let's go in our index router and create a new path, which is going to be router dot post slash new underscore post. We want to make it a protected route. So let's call it the uh, middleware that we created. And in here, we're going to want to make um, this an asynchronous asynchronous function, sorry, because we're going to want to um, send send queries over to our database. So let's import the pool from our DB file so we can use that here. So we're going to want to do await pool.query. And here we're going to insert into the post table um, in the body column and the author ID column, the values, a dollar sign one, and ooh, dollar sign two. And so this is gonna, for the dollar sign one, which is the body, we're gonna do request.body.post. And the second one, which is the ID number of the user, is request.user.id. And we're just gonna do res. 
status uh, status of 200 and send that over and that's pretty much it perfect so this is our all we had to do to send a new post as you can see react query makes it dead simple for us I mean just look how short this code is all we have to do is make this hook and just call the mutate function and that's it so let's open up the terminal and I'm gonna go into the actual database and connect to the database for this tutorial and let's select all from post see there's nothing there but let's go into our application let me refresh the page and let's try to send over a post so hi post again and let's query our database and there's the post the post has an ID of three the body which we sent over and the author ID which is the ID of me my account which we uh, it would be your account if you're doing this on your computer so yeah everything's working great we're sending over posts and it's working fine so that's all for this episode and in the next video we're going to start requesting the post from the server and it's going to fill up our screen and we're going to implement uh, the post and a little load more button at the bottom that we click to load more it's going to be kind of like uh, paginated would you say so thanks for watching have a good one